Thank you, Madam Vice Chair. We congratulate you and, of course, the other members of the Bureau on assumption uh, of charge of the second committee. Uh, India aligns itself with the statements delivered by Guinea on behalf of the Group of 77. For almost two years now, the world has continued to battle with the global pandemic, leading to this new normal, where we have uh, made efforts to adopt to the situation. Our shared experience of combating this crisis so far has shown that we are stronger when we work together but a lot still remains to be done. The Secretary General's latest report under this agenda item reaffirms that science, technology, and innovation for sustainable development have been critical in addressing COVID response and recovery. During the pandemic, India undertook unparalleled social protection initiatives that were pro-poor and broad-based in outreach. Digital technology and the energies of the internet have been a force multiplier in this endeavor. A program to supply free food to 800 million people and cash transfers to 400 million was streamlined by digitally enabled technology, along with delivery of clean cooking fuel to 80 million households. Financial inclusion has been accelerated and digital transactions have been stepped up, bringing over 800 million Indian women into the mainstream financial system and thereby ushering in economic empowerment. Our indigenous IT platform, Arogya Setu, facilitated effective COVID contact tracing. India's COVID app, an open platform for managing vaccination, continues to facilitate vaccines to millions. ICT tools have been deployed in an effective manner for improving access to quality education and healthcare services. India has thus created a strong, transparent, and vibrant digital system which is inclusive and empowering, offering much needed solutions for tackling poverty, promoting economic growth and improving productivity during COVID times. However, we cannot deny that technologies are also creating unprecedented challenges that include invasion of privacy, promotion of misinformation and disinformation, infiltration of critical infrastructure through cyber attacks, threat to human rights and accentuating the digital divide. Access to technology is not always uniform, and this has led to widening disparities between the developed countries and the global South. Keeping with the central premise of the sustainable development goals of leaving no one behind, we believe it is imperative that the ongoing digital revolution is inclusive. Madam Vice Chair, strengthened technological cooperation between member states through transfer of technology and capacity building is critical in achieving SDGs. India has been sharing its experience and expertise with development partners, especially under the framework of South-South cooperation. Prime Minister Modi has already offered COVID platform for the global good. India has further strengthened its flagship development assistance program, the Indian Technical and Economic Cooperation, to provide online training to healthcare personnel of several countries. We look forward to continue working with partners in this field. Madam Vice Chair, the COVID-19 pandemic has deepened economic insecurity and inequalities. It has been devastating for countries that possess fewer capacities to respond, thus damaging prospects for achieving sustainable development targets. Globalization and interdependence have been given a greater urgency in the new context. Global challenges like terrorism and climate change that are putting current global governance structures to test can also be addressed if we cooperate actively and purposefully. A reinvigorated and reformed multilateralism is required to better reflect the realities of today. The pandemic has made a convincing case for working together in public health and R&D, but equally so for secure supply chains. Many of us accept now that the establishment of resilient and reliable supply chains is essential to strengthen world economy for the benefit of all. There is a need to create greater global capacities so that pandemic scale challenges are more effectively met. Madam Vice Chair, as India has moved to deal with the pandemic itself, it has also strived to extend support to other countries, whether it is our medical assistance and humanitarian relief to over 150 nations or sharing our vaccine production and delivery capacities with the world. We remain convinced that only a collaborative approach can succeed in tackling a complex global threat. Our initiatives, such as the International Solar Alliance, Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure and the establishment of India-UN Development Partnership Fund are manifestations of our faith in collective action. India continues to play its part in contributing to global efforts to meet sustainable development challenges in keeping with the timeless Indian wisdom of seeing the world as one family. I thank you.